So hi there, we're going to be looking today at radio frequency identification and how you can mess around and clone people's access passes. I'm sure many of you now get into um, your offices and organisations using access passes a bit like this. Um, what I want to show you is quite a cool little tool um, called Proxmark, uh, developed by a guy called Jonathan Westhues and then taken a lot further by others. Um, here it is, simple as that. It's available online. If you Google Proxmark 3, about 400 bucks, you can buy the kit ready to go. Or if you're good with a soldering iron, you can do it yourself. What I've done is I connected it to my laptop just so you can see what's going on. Usually I just run it from a USB um, battery pack, which I slip in my pocket, run the cables down my sleeve, and I put the aerial here into the palm of my hand. So I can quite easily get close to someone and can snaffle their card. First thing I need to do, we'll start it going. The first thing we do, simple as that, we've got it out into a record mode. I've got the pass, I get close to it, and it records. It really is that easy. Now, I had to get within three or four centimetres to get a good read. Um, the only downside with this, of course, it means you get really, need to get really quite close to people to get a read off their card. But anyway, so we've recorded that now. We've now stored the card value on here. Really straightforward. All we have to do is play it back. And that is simple as. I am now playing back the value from this card from this antenna. And if I go up to the, um, the access controller, Beep, it works. Think about most security guards, what are they looking for? They're looking for someone who looks about right in a suit and tie, and the door goes beep. They must be all right. Now, it might be that I got unlucky. Maybe I followed someone from the office, looked for the right colour lanyard, followed them to the coffee shop around the corner. But maybe I got the wrong person. Maybe I got a receptionist who doesn't have much access. Well, there's quite a cool tool here. This is called Prox Brute. It's written by a guy from uh, Foundstone. And what he did is wrote a brute force that basically decrements the key value each time. You can see I'm now taking, iterating the hex value downwards. And because we understand that most of these cards are issued in uh, sequential batches, I've got a fairly good chance of hitting on someone who has got access to the places I want to go, like the server room. Now, the other big problem with um, Proxmark is that, frankly, um, you have to be a bit too close. Now, here's an example. As, uh, I was on the tube coming back from London not so long ago. And I found a nice easy badge to clone. It was hanging off his, um, his uh, rucksack. I could have easily have cloned it, but I could also have stolen it. And the problem with Proxmark is, frankly, you need to be right up close to someone's wallet. And if it's in their back pocket, you're going to look a bit weird trying to go for it. So a guy called um, Fran Brown did quite an interesting presentation at DEF CON recently, uh, DEF CON 21, where he took a HID reader, modified it, um, made it battery powered, so he could get a read from a much greater distance. So you could frankly put something in a, a satchel, you could get a read from about two to three feet away, which means you don't have to go around basically hugging people in order to uh, read their cards. Now, if you're a bit paranoid and you're concerned about this, there are things you can do. Um, you can buy RF shielded um, containers. So this is um, a pass holder. You can see it's shielded. All I have to do is slip my pass in there, and all of a sudden, I can no longer um, grab it. It might be you're worried about your credit cards. You see a lot of concern about people um, cloning credit cards or getting reads from credit cards they shouldn't do. This is an RF shielded wallet, very simple, pop them in there. Or if you've got an electronic passport and you're really paranoid, you can actually slip that inside here and there's foil lining within the passport holder so you can stop your card getting read. Hope you enjoyed it, thank you.